Hi guys, it's me, and today we are dishing out by Eli Sularman. This is Dish by Eli, and today we are making um, fettuccine Alfredo because we had a reaction video, so you can watch that there. So today we are making two versions because I don't eat dairy or gluten. So we are making a gluten free and dairy free version of fettuccine. Alfredo, and then we're making a normal version for everyone here <laughs> to enjoy. So let's get cooking, shall we? Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to boil the pasta. So I've got a very big pot of water here, which I'm going to bring up to a boil. You always need to salt the water like crazy a lot. Like, this should taste like the ocean. A lot of salt. I'm talking about maybe two tablespoons worth. That goes in, a little bit more for good luck. So cover that up, let it do its thing. And here we gotta chop up some of our aromatics. Peel up one uh, white onion. And we're also going to be using quite a fair amount of garlic. Four to five cloves of garlic. Bash up the garlic. So it's easy to remove the skin. Okay, so we're just going to roughly just chop everything up. Doesn't need to be super fine. We're going to cook down the garlic until it becomes really nice and soft anyway, so. Now on to the onion. Well, dice your onions into small pieces, as small as you can get it. Next, we're going to slice up our mushrooms. So we are using the brown button mushrooms for today's recipe. You can use white button mushrooms. You can use um, any type of mushrooms you like. We have a lot of fresh stocky mushrooms here. So if you want to put an Asian twist to it, you can use that. And I've just kind of wiped them down a little bit with a damp cloth. I don't ever wash my mushrooms because I feel like they just soak up so much moisture. And what you want to do is just wipe down any of the... There's no dirt, I mean there's no dirt obviously because I've already wiped these down but I just want to wipe it down like that. So that is done, so I'm going to move this forward. And I'm going to prepare my chicken. So here I have some chicken fillets. Um, I love using chicken fillets. So we're just going to just dice up our chicken fillets. Okay, so we're going to put this back into the bowl. Okay, we're going to add in our pasta now. So, fettuccine is flat and slightly wide. Okay, um, so it takes a little bit longer to cook than your normal spaghetti. And what I like to do is twist and drop. And then you just want to like make sure that you shake it around a little bit. 500 grams of fettuccine pasta. Uh, Gluten-free if possible because I don't eat gluten. Okay, so just make sure that you like swoosh your noodles around or your pasta around uh, when you put it into the hot water so they do it doesn't stick together. So now we just gotta wait. Okay, we're gonna turn this off because the pasta is el dente. Ooh. Okay, we're just going to strain the pasta into my colander that I've had with me since university days. And I like to use a dark pot when I'm cooking pasta so I can see inside. <laughs> From the reaction videos, a lot of them actually use butter. So I know I said I can't eat a lot of butter. Uh, I mean, I don't eat dairy, but I'll make an exception for butter. <laughs> So about that much, I guess. So we'll use about that much of butter. It's probably about, uh, I think about one and a half tablespoons. And we're also gonna add in some olive oil. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna cook our chicken. So our chicken goes in. We are going to season that with some salt. Black, black pepper. Mm. God, something about butter melting in a pan. 
Now we just want to brown our chicken slightly. So I don't want to overcook the chicken. So once you can't see any pink and most of the chicken is kind of like cooked through but not entirely like dry, we can remove it and set it back into the bowl because we're going to cook it again later. Okay. Now the reason why I don't want to like cook it too long because I don't want dry chicken. That's like the worst sensation in your mouth ever when you eat a really dry piece of chicken. There's still a bit of that oil and that chicken juice inside the pan. Onions and the mushrooms go in first. We put in the garlic later. So we just want to cook this down until the onions are slightly caramelized and then the mushrooms have like released all of its moisture and then it's kind of drying up. So once the house smells absolutely amazing and <laughs> your mixture has this beautiful like caramelized kind of sight to it. I don't even know what words to say because my mouth is watering. Um, it's time for you to add your garlic, okay? So we're getting the garlic right at the end because we don't want the garlic to burn. So we just give that a little swirl around, okay? And we can increase the fire slightly at this point. And next, we're going to add in our chicken that we cooked earlier along with the, all the chicken juice. Yes. And I'm just going to remove some of this. So this is for my version which has no dairy so we're just going to save this for later so i'm going to show you how to make the i guess not so classic fettuccine alfredo because fettuccine alfredo is not italian per se it's more of a bored italian dish by the americans cooked by a malaysian why not so we're just going to add in about 200 milliliters of cooking cream that goes in and because we don't have any normal milk at home so we're just using plant-based milk so about the same amount that goes in as well I'm also going to season, season this with some cracked black pepper A little bit of salt, not too much, because we're also going to add in some cheese to this. So I just have some parmigiano. So we're going to use about, I would say half a cup. Swish that around. Incorporate the cheese and everything in. Oh, that smells so good. Now it is slightly watery. Don't worry, because we're going to add in some of that pasta in there. And then the pasta is going to kind of soak everything up. This is English parsley because we couldn't find any other, <laughs> couldn't find Italian parsley anywhere. So, the English parsley we'll just have to do. Got our pasta here. And see if your pastas are like stuck together like this, don't worry. And what I like to do is just pour in some of that pasta water inside. Easy, right? So, we're gonna put in, I'm just gonna leave maybe about just my portion of pasta for myself but that smells amazing okay so at this point I'm just going to turn off the fire and I'm just going to let the pasta kind of sit in that beautiful gravy and what that's go what's going to happen is the pasta is going to actually absorb all of that that excess moisture and kind of continue cooking almost so then the pasta will be perfect it won't be too hard because right now it's really really al dente okay so we're gonna set this to the side so for mine we are using coconut cream why not we're in malaysia so i guess this is our version of cream so a little bit of coconut cream goes in and then plant-based milk Okay, and for that cheesiness, we're using nutritional yeast. That was the word that I forgot. 
when we were shooting the reaction video. So I'm just gonna add in about a tablespoon or so for that cheesy goodness flavor. Crack of black pepper and of course a little bit of salt as well. Let's give that a little swirl. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so to that we're going to add in the remaining of the gluten-free <laughs> pasta. Give that a swirl around. Oh yes, and don't forget some chopped up parsley. And that's done. So this is my version. So this one, as you can see, is a lot more luscious because, and you can really smell the dairy in this one. Because <laughs> you need extra cheese. And a little bit more of that beautiful parsley. Fettuccine Alfredo. That's the normal version. And that's the gluten-free and dairy-free version. I really hope you've enjoyed this recipe. And if you have any other recipes that you want me to try or react to, don't forget to comment below, subscribe, put the notification button because I love spending time with you guys and I want to be spending time with you guys even more. So I'm just going to dig right in. What else is there to do? Here we go. Ooh. Hot. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. It's hot. Let me see my eyes are watering. Mmm. Creamy. Actually, this is really good. Considering there's no dairy in it. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.